Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well. Greetings from Portugal. Nuno here once again. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you are doing well. So, following my last video, it was, I think, Mac OS Mojave 10.14.2 Beta 2, I suppose. Uh, on the end of the video, uh, I talked about some extensions for Safari and some tweaks you can do on Mac OS Mojave, and I want to share that with you, okay? So, and uh, since some of you uh, post, put on the comments that you would like to see that kind of video, today we are going to the screencast and I will show you something, you know, some goodies and some things to keep your Mac running smooth. So, without further ado, let's go to the screencast. So, one of the features that was introduced uh, in macOS Mojave was dark mode. Everyone was very happy on having dark mode on Safari and I'm one of those, okay? Now, in order of, of course, you already know this, but in order for you to uh, enable the dark mode, you have to go to system preferences, general, and then switch from light to dark, okay? That's what you have to do. But it, it is it is what it is, and I, a few steps in order for you to switch from one to another. Now, there are some cool guys, some cool developers that give us something for free, and you can have this application that is called Night Howl, and it will be here on your menu bar. And of course, you can left click, you have all these options regarding, you know, turning to dark, okay, uh, of course, and then you can put from sunrise to sunset and you can even uh, schedule, uh, schedule. Now, if you only right click, you can switch between one and another with only one cl uh, click. And this is cool. Okay, guys, this is free. You just go ahead. I'll leave the link in the description. It is called Night Owl and uh, you can donate or you can download. It will be on your menu bar and uh, it is a quick, you know, quick click in order for you to have night mode enabled. Now, just one caveat and uh, it is uh, probably, as you know, uh, Apple is restricting more and more the ability to install third-party apps, uh, apps that are not in the App Store or are not from identified developers and perhaps you I will leave, of course, I will have a video, I have a video on that, that is disabling gatekeeper in order for you to have install apps from anywhere, okay? Uh, this is, a, uh, of course, I will leave here in the cards uh, on the top right corner on that eye, go ahead and you can see how you can enable uh, this feature, install apps from anywhere, okay? Uh, keep in mind, of course, uh, the apps that you install. This is not a malicious app, this is a, a, a normal app. Now, the other one, it is regarding when you are, you are in this f full dark mode, uh, the, the one thing that, you know, it's not good to me is that the sites are not enabled yet, the websites are not enabled for the dark mode uh, on Safari, for example. You, it is, you know, extremely uncomfortable when you are in dark mode to open a web page and you have all this bright and this is, I, I don't like it, okay? But well, there is also uh, an extension for Safari in order for you to have the dark mode enabled and that, that is called dark mode for Safari. It, it, it is an extension, you can go ahead. Uh, you have the ability to, you know, manually turn off or turn on now or when dark mode is enabled or you, you can even schedule the when you have that the, you have the, the web pages the safari in dark mode sorry in this case i always turn it to manual so let's turn it to manual now and as you can see this is almost like an inversion okay it's like almost like on ios that you have that inversion in colors in accessibility but it is made in the right way. There are some things that are not quite well yet, uh, but as you can see, everything, some colors are not correct, but well, uh, let's go here to some web pages. What I want to show you is that the images are correct. These pictures, okay, they are correct. Um, they, they are not inverted, as you can see here, iTunes, the Disney um, logo and everything. Everything seems to work very well. Some colors regarding text are not, you know, uh, perfect. For example, here um, <clears throat> on the, on the, for example, I'll show you the, the true color. Let's go ahead, turn off. It is this, this color, but as you can see, 
these were the images and the logos over here that I show you are the same. So let's turn on again. Now, this works in, uh, you know, uh, of course you can pick here uh, dark mode, softer dark mode, for example, you know, it's a little bit softer or mono mode. Uh, this is, mm, I don't like it, I like dark mode. And you can apply for all sides or you can choose the sides that you want to uh, have this enabled. Okay, I have applied for all sides. Now guys, the uh, only thing here uh, is that this application is, um, it's, um, uh, it's paid. Okay guys, you can go ahead, go to Safari extensions, it opens and you can go and put dark, sorry, let's put here done can go ahead and just put dark mode and I, I think it will be here yeah dark mode for Safari just click it and uh, here in Portugal in the App Store it's about 2. Point, uh, it's 2.29 euros okay it's not uh, well it's about uh, three dollars I believe um, if you make the conversion so uh, if you think this is useful for you go ahead and uh, you know pay why not if it is useful and if you are uh, many hours in your computer and you don't want to have your uh, your eyes stressed it is a, for me it is a cool application and it works very very well keep in mind there are updates it's not working perfectly yet but well, you know it is what it is uh, of course in youtube you already have the dark mode if you want but on the other sides you don't have it so uh, for me it works very very well very well people i hope you like it go ahead uh, there are some buttons over there if you like it and want to see more content like this uh, you are free to you know to use that buttons so until then stay safe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye